the national AIDS program with uh, uh, its partners uh, conducted a qualitative study on uh, uh, vulnerabilities of sex workers uh, for HIV. Uh, the, the main objective of this study were uh, was to provide more information on behavior and social environment in which sex workers live and factors that affect their vulnerability and limit their access to HIV and STIs services, as such as screening, prevention, and care. Uh, for the specific objectives of our study are to identify where to identify knowledge of sex workers on sexual and reproductive uh, health services and rights, conditions and factors affecting sex workers' uh, lives, obstacles limiting their access to services, and sexual and other forms of abuse and exploitation for minors, their needs and expectations to access to uh, health services. So uh, we use it to that, the definition of UNAIDS for sex workers, that is adult or young female, or male or transgender, which receives regular or occasional uh, money, shelter, or goods in exchange for uh, sexual services. Uh, for commercial sexual exploitation for children, we use the uh, definition of sexual exploitation by an adult of a child or adolescent below 18 years of age that involves a transaction in cash or in kind to the child or to one or more third parties. Uh, the method of uh, our study uh, it was based on the approach uh, on collaborative and uh, participatory approach that is based on, on principles, do not harm, do not judge, respect choices and opinions, and respect ethics, anonymity, and confidentiality. Uh, the data collection was based on semi-structures, uh, interviews with key people in ministries, institutions protecting children, and civil society. Uh, second, on focus groups with, with sex workers, illegal and uh, authorized, and single mothers. So, we, uh, uh, the number of participants was for unauthorized uh, female sex workers, 25, uh, seven for auth authorized uh, sex workers, female sex workers in uh, one site, uh, MSM and uh, male sex worker, uh, 15 in two uh, sites, uh, with a percentage of 68%. Uh, for minors, we, uh, we use it, uh, participant in uh, detention center uh, from different regions. The total was uh, 69 of participants in focus groups. As a resu results of our uh, study, two categories of barriers for sex workers to access sex, uh, sexual and uh, reproductive health services were identified. Uh, they are uh, structure barrier and individual. For uh, structure barrier, barriers, uh, the first is national context. In fact, after the revolution, Tunisia suffered from critical transition phase, fragile governmental institutions, terrorist attacks, social revendications of some religious groups. To these, con uh, lead to um, the closing, uh, led to the closing of all authorized brothers except two. The uh, second structural barrier is legal framework. Uh, in Tunisia, authorized sex work are organized by law. So 
they should be registered at the local police station, practice sex work only in authorized buildings, should go through a uh, monthly medical examination. Once the sex worker is uh, positive, uh, she or he, she is uh, exempted for, from her work. The third uh, structural barriers, uh, no, uh, for the legal framework, unauthorized sex workers are uh, penalized by law. For um, uh, uh, male sex workers or MSM, it is not mentioned in penal code, but homosexuality is condemned by the law in Tunisia. For the uh, third structure barrier, uh, uh, for uh, sexual commercial exploitation for minors, the article, uh, 20, uh, the 25th article of the Child Protection Code condemns sexual exploitation of minors for commercial purpose or for free, directly or indirectly. The sexually exploited child is considered paradoxically as in conflict with the law and he or she is placed in detention centers for juveniles. Uh, another uh, structural barrier is sexual and uh, reproductive health access, uh, uh, which is limited in, uh, in sex workers. Their knowledge are, is poor and superfluous on STIs and modes of protection. Lack, uh, we, we identified lack of knowledge about sexuality, reproductive health, and contraception, and that lead to uh, unwanted pregnancies. For HIV and STIs, uh, it, uh, it was uh, an occupational hazard for, for them. Another structural barrier is the, uh, the limited uh, access to uh, s services. Uh, for minors, the access to the service is almost non-existent. The major barriers limiting their access to health facilities is the obligation to have the guardian consent. The authorized sex workers are regularly controlled by doctors, but uh, this control is very restrictive and their access to public facilities is difficult because they have not medical insurance. In terms of uh, sec sexual and reproductive health practices, they are not using uh, condoms because of uh, client refusal or because of uh, the offering of uh, extra money for them. Uh, uh, the second barriers are the uh, individual, the second category of barriers, the individual barriers, uh, such as violence, uh, physical abuse by family, police, drug dealer, neighbors, and even clients. Male sex workers were abused based on their homosexuality and not as sex workers. The IDUs, female sex workers, uh, are uh, suffering, were suffering from uh, self-harm scars, abused in many ways, uh, like uh, physical or robbery or rape from family and for uh, drug dealers. He uh, for the second individual barrier, the health barrier, uh, as the com such as consumption of alcohol, cigarettes, various non-injected injected drugs at 12 or 13 years old, virginity loss under the influence of drugs or alcohol, and the use of tranquilizers and antidepressants. Other uh, individual barriers are behavior barriers, history of detention for robbery or drugs, uh, psychological barriers that the guilt and low self-esteem, single mother sex workers psycho uh, with psychological disorders, 
high anxiety, sleeping disorders, and depression. Other individual barriers, uh, inject, injected the drug abuse ma is the major factor of vulnerability and alienation. It is a major barrier to negotiate safe sex with clients. Interpersonal competition leads to the acceptance of unprotected sex with clients who refuse the use of condoms. Uh, the specificities for uh, sexually exploited minors are uh, the, uh, some of the girls were pregnant from uh, by a relative at the time of the interview. Mothers of uh, uh, some some girls are minor are mothers of one or two children. For the boys, money is the main reason of prostitution. Unlike the girls, they are working independently and not monitored by adults. The limitation of our study were the uh, annual summer leave of managers and key populations, difficulties in recruitment of uh, participants for the focus groups, administrative obstacles, uh, difficulties to make male minors talk about their stories frankly and freely. In conclusion, the main factors identified uh, for uh, sex workers were criminal criminalizing legislations, multidimensional uh, vulnerability, different types of violence from different types of actors, add-on vulnerability factors uh, such as young age, I, IDUs, single motherhood, all these factors lead to limited access to uh, sexual and reproductive health services, low knowledge about sex workers, sex work from the clients and the male sex workers. So uh, we recommended to set, to set up a subcommittee on planning, advocacy, and monitoring for ensure the rights of key populations and universal access to healthcare, establish, to establish a legal framework for the prevention of HIV and STIs, uh, to advocate to review legislation, review of uh, a child protection code and consider the child exploited as a victim, strengthen governmental and non-governmental institution interventions. To establish a package uh, for behavior interventions and socioeconomic support measures, such as communication for behavior change, fight against alcohol and drug injection abuse, promote safe practice and use of condoms, uh, strengthen voluntary and anonymous HIV testing, and especially encourage studies, uh, studies and research in this field. And I thank uh, all the authors of this, uh, this study and uh, the support of uh, UNFPA country office in Tunisia and so aides uh, and the review by uh, Professor uh, Nisaf Ben Alay. And I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Hayat, for this very interesting presentation and uh, work you done. Uh, because uh, sex workers, uh, it's uh, important in any country to be recognized and uh, to see what are their vulnerabilities and barriers. Uh, is there any question uh, for Hayat at this moment from the public? Okay, if no, I would like to ask you, because uh, you very well structured uh, that, uh, if I am correctly understand, that the sex work is authorized, which is not criminalized by law, for those who are adults. And, uh, and uh, with, with some conditions, they, uh, I uh, presented them uh, to, uh, to be registered in a police station, local police station, 
to uh, practice sex work only in building uh, yes. authorized and uh, to to have a, m a monthly uh, exam medical yeah. exam yeah B which is very interesting because in serbia it is criminalized it's not possible to say to, to i'm sex workers it's penalty so it's very uh, very interesting you said yeah. but also if I am correctly understand, that there is a lot of them who are not authorized or illegally make prostitution. And uh, the minors are very interesting because you put a lot of different vulnerabilities and even uh, this is uh, some kind of the, how I said, uh, 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 limitation of the law, who need to protect child, who are exploited by the adults, not to punish Yes. It seems it's, it's very important. Yes. And uh, do you have an uh, estimation of the size of sex workers in Tunisia? Yes, uh, 25,000 uh, in uh, 2012, the estimation, the estimated size. Authorized and non authorized? Non authorized. Th not authorized. And how many authorized? Uh, before uh, the revolution in uh, 2010, uh, they were. 2000 but after mm. they are uh, limited so unauthorized sex workers it's much more prevalent in your yes. country and uh, from uh, from uh, after the revolution from uh, 12 uh, brothers uh, it, it remained two only in tunisia in all the country Okay, so you need, uh, as you said, a lot of action to put in place uh, and to monitor the trend of behavior, but also in the prevalence. But you mentioned the only if HIV is positive, then it's forbidden to work. But yes. what are with those who are hepatitis B positive, uh, chronic carriers, and also for those who are with hepatitis or other maybe sexual infection who are not treated? The, contro the medical control is uh, for uh, all the uh, communicable disease, but here we uh, we make the the accent on the on the HIV because of the maybe study. maybe to think about other infections yes. <laughs> or to treat them whatever. for other programs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. If there is no other questions, we go further. And uh, thank you, Hat. Thank you.